Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about open games that today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we did a lot of stuff. We snooped around Powers' dressing room. That sounds weirder than I thought it'd be. We also met Penny Nichols, who has the ability to sense people, I guess. Uh, sensing someone. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio. Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen him. Okay, Maya. Yeah, I think I already showed you my attorney's badge. Anyways, back over to the main gate. October 16th, Global Studios, main gate. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Assistance claim. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 o'clock p.m., correct? The estimated time of de Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eek. Alright, you better tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just... Talking to the assistant in Studio One. Er, she's not even a full-time employee. She left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Let's go ahead and examine this thing right here computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Let's go ahead and try it. Might as well. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 o'clock p.m. that day. 1 o'clock. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter a number of security camera. So if you remember last time we checked the camera, I think it was last time or the episode before that, we checked out the camera and it gave us the number ST1307. There, entered. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he's the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine that a detective was very happy with his photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 o'clock p.m. Photo number 2. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from the other day. Nope, that's the only one on the computer. Hey, hey, Nick, can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in, in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we need for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea of who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady? To be continued, and we're only like, what, five minutes into the video now? So, I'll go ahead and just continue on a little bit more. It'll like, 
we'll kind of lose our structure with it, but eh, who cares? This case is long anyway. October 18th, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court courtroom number four. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution shall show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Redworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The, the security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 o'clock p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the Moida, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the Moida, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Bowers, and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then, after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 o'clock p.m., the studio lady got to the SCART station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 o'clock p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found it lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear it again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? I don't need to listen to it again. If you, and if you want to listen to it again, you could just back up the video. Uh, skip it. I think I could probably remember that. Though the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Samurai Spear added to the court record. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. That question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand, so we don't even get to cross-examine Gumshoe this time. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Y your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be so embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. James Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. I remember there was one video on YouTube, which was, like, Edgeworth struggles to get witnesses to say their names for X amount of minutes. It was great. Uh, don't watch that video if you don't want to be spoiled on stuff, though. Wendy, old bag, dearie. <laughs> Objection. I object to the witness's talk talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we could get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. I don't even know if yes, is a thing. Like, is that a phrase? And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Witnesses account. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 o'clock p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since morning. 
I will. I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until five. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked by the walked by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers. It was that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. I still don't got that voice down. You saw the defendant then. Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Hold it. So up until that time, anyone who wanted to go into... Anyone who wanted to go into the stu... Well, there wasn't a security guard at this gate, no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You need an employee card key to get in. Right, the card key that I have. So what she's, what she's saying is that no one who wasn't important, supposed to be in there could get in. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since morning. Uh, run through? They were working out a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon and, and were used and were to and were to use the afternoon for practice. Russell was supposed to start at five. That's why the poor my poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. Pars was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid-back hero. If there was a run-through in the morning, why did you only get there afternoon? I well, I had some errands to run that morning. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers. Observing, you know. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? What, oh, person snapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a Steel Samurai run-through, too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyway, it was 1 o'clock when I got to the guard station. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from then until 5 o'clock. So you were watching the whole time? No breaks? Not even for a second? Uh, of course! I am a professional, you know. Or are you criticizing how I do my job? Whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I could watch this game and eat donuts at the same time. It was Snipper Whapper. <laughs> Snipper Whapper. Old windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? <laughs> so the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now, the murder happened from two at 2.30 p.m., right? How did you know that? Oh, I have my ways. That overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut for his job. Poor Detective Gumshoe getting chewed out by the security guard. Interesting to me because a certain man walked by me right at 2 p.m. 2 o'clock. You're sure? As sure as spit. Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Now, now, don't get your skibbies in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers. That man right there needs help. And he, he was heading toward the studio. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Go wax in your ears, Sonny. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again, it was him. It was Powers. And then it repeats. So yeah, just like they said, this is where you go ahead and present the power you present Powers' photo. Let me get this straight, old bag. Or miss old bag. 
You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you talk about this the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Uh, um, yeah. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss... Uh, witness. He's having trouble calling your old bag, apparently. However, do you not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Umph! Nosy old man! Of course I have proof! What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? The prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. Please make... Known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me, D This isn't any good as evidence, Pearl. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. He's good. Let's hear about your proof then. We'll learn about it next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue listening to Old Bag Talk. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.